Oak Happy, who's a Republican candidate for the 64th Assembly District representing the East Shore of Staten Island and Bay Ridge, Brooklyn in New York. Marco, thanks for being with us. Um, you know, actually, I want to I want to jump into the first question, which is a conversation between Schumer and McConnell. What would that look like? Well, it's obviously not going to be a, a quite nice conversation. Uh, Schumer is just out there to get the president. He really has no uh, no factual. It's just hearsay. He says she said, and they haven't even given out the the whistleblower's name. So they're really just wasting uh, McConnell's time with all these conversations. Okay, so polling shows virtually zero movement on impeachment over the past few months, and we know that this vote is largely going to break along party lines. I think there's still quite a few undecided Democratic um, representatives in this. Where is all of this headed? So what this is actually doing is the Democrats thought that they're going to damage the president's reputation and the president's outcome in the election. But in reality, what the Democrats are doing, they're damaging their own reputation and they're hurting themselves in the upcoming elections. Even today, a, a Democrat from Congress switched from Democrat to the Republican Party. So it's really backfiring the Democratic Party. So this whole impeachment scam, it's really, uh, it, it, ca it came out to a backfire of the Democratic Party and they thought it was going to be the opposite. Well, right now, uh, across the board, it looks like conservative and liberal polling is showing um, it, I think around 50% of uh, people who were polled want to impeach, I think that the president should be not only impeached but removed from office. So um, it looks to be about half. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure that this is necessarily going to backfire on the Democrats. But in terms of this process moving forward, what are Republicans hoping a Senate trial is going to look like? Well, if you can remember from the last election, the uh the polling had the had Donald Trump way behind, had Hillary with over 80 percent winning. At the end of the day, Donald Trump won, so the polls are not actual factual. It depends who's also doing these polls and who are they're polling. So I don't really believe in these polls. And as far as the Senate trial, I don't believe there's going to be a trial because there is no uh, there's no case for the impeachment. OK, but we know, though, that even the president himself has been calling for a trial in the Senate. He said he specifically he wants to call his own witnesses. He wants to hear from um, uh, Adam Schiff. He wants to hear from Joe and Hunter Biden. He wants to put his own witnesses on the stand. Um, Republicans seem to also be in favor of of calling their own witnesses in here to sort of display their their side of the story and their sequence of events. Um, so we know that this this is likely going to be an, happening when this moves to the Senate. Uh, but what do you think that that would look like? And and do you think that the president and the Republican Party are on the same page with with who would necessarily appear in a Senate trial? Yes, I do believe the Republican Party and the president are on the same page. They are united as a party. And they all stand behind President Trump. That, therefore, that's why there's no one in the House from the Republican side supporting this impeachment. And as far as the, tr the Senate trial, having uh, Hunter Biden and the, all the people that Donald Trump is uh, calling onto this trial, I don't think the Democrats would be very happy to have uh, the former vice president's son on the trial. So they must start being a little bit hesitant. I think the Democrats so far have only been focused on this uh, impeachment from the House because they know that's where they have the numbers and they have the power and they're just trying to basically hurt the president's reputation. All right, Marco Kepi in New York, appreciate you being with us. Thanks for that.